so data policy okay data policy is one of the important concept for interviews and even general also okay so see okay so in new way policy is there anything i can cover for you main thing is this one only okay fine ma so see data policy okay so first of all tell me what is uway policy who can tell what is uway policy new policy is a dynamically changes form changing elements sir. like uh, read only mandatory visibility yes right and uh, in new policy okay client side activity okay you can control three things mandatory visible read only okay based on a condition so see here the simple example that we already seen okay an incident table okay see all right so i am opening one incident table okay so i will show one ui policy okay see here hmm. okay maybe this is on submit client script okay no 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 not on submit client script it is ui policy only see here these two fields are non mandatory okay but when i say state equal to resolved okay these two states these two fields are becoming mandatory so there is an ui policy set up in the background with a condition if state equal to resolved okay ua policy action resolution code mandatory true okay uh, ua policy action resolution notes mandatory equal to true there are two ua policy action setup okay so this is the ua policy now similarly ua policy is a client side activity okay but what is data policy data policy is server side activity okay now activity right so in data policy what actions we can do okay first of all we see an existing data policy and then we will start analyzing it okay so see here i'll take this particular incident okay so but from background script i will close this one okay so if anyone can tell me help me okay to help me to write a background script to close this incident okay so are re set resolved okay resolved or closed from background script just tell me ma anyone if any can anyone can help me please help me or else i will i'll just initiate you just me yeah var g r r equal to new light record of incident right next line g r r dot add query yes ma uh, c said uh, yes c said equal to current c said or the c said which we have taken in okay so we have to pass this cd because current will not work in background script now we are right. yeah. yes. we are not on the record okay so gr query gr query yeah. <laughs> okay so see i am saying like uh, grr okay state equal to i want the number to be passed okay so i'll go here back and value i'll get it okay so choices and uh, state passed. okay and for incident this one 6 right so 6 is the number just pass it like this okay gr mm -hmm. dot update okay is that is that everyone are fine with this code any modifications we need to do sir only number it will given uh, okay sir that's not that's good yeah ma we 
we want only one number no one incident number okay we want to update only one incident record this incident record oh, sir. yes sir in uh, uh, number back end value mo we need to okay. pass the back end values okay, the choice back end value okay sir right na no? right fine others any questions okay so here i given six here is okay the value of a choice right so this see here these are choices so when i am creating choices first go here okay go to this dictionary yeah for this field we have choices created okay these many choices are there right and this is a task level field na no? so we will be having more okay so what is the these are all choices right so what is our choice resolved okay so this is our choice field choice value so the label is this one that means the user seeable thing for the back end value for this particular one is 6 so we need to pass this value okay so yeah, going back good question so here i am passing 6 and then gr dot update okay see here i am just running it okay everyone are clear with this script right you can able to see the script and you are you are all fine with the script right yes sir yeah. so i am running the script here just to see what will happen okay background message type error okay message data policy exception okay the following fields are mandatory resolution code closure code okay can someone tell me what exactly this message is telling us mandatory is not a, not a field sir uh, we want to fill in mandatory field will be closed up like that right so you are like this is this this one is telling like you are trying to update an incident okay with some value in order to update that value these two are mandatory fields without this values updation you can't update that value okay so now is this the client side activity or is this the server side activity this is server side activity sir server side activity so now see the same data policy whatever we see in the message okay see the data policy how it is configured okay so data policy will run when the data is being directly updated using scripts server side scripts okay so the data can be updated directly from ui action or a background script or a business rule fixed script schedule job workflows integration anywhere if you are directly updating a record and you want to make sure that if the value want to be updated there are some other values also need to be updated see what this particular data policy is telling like if you are updating any incident record okay any incident record okay with these values state equal to either resolved or either closed okay why we got errors because we are updating the state value to resolved okay so the condition met here okay so when the condition met the condition met when you are running a background script or a server side script directly okay this condition met on this table then this ui actions are verified okay close code close notes they are mandatory the system force you to not run that script and it will tell you that in order to update that value you need to pass these two values okay now okay now my requirement is to anyway i need to make it resolved okay now i got the reason so i need to go back to the script now tell me what script i need to write here so this is our script now what i need to do in order to make it successful run you want to choose the resolved close field sir the state no. equal to just set the value sir
I think closure code is not a um, is not a field that it allows this one. Okay, I need to see it now. Give me one second. The closure code is a choice field. Mm, this one, good, 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 good. So what values? What I did? We need to pass the right values for choices, or else it won't take. Mm, English, I'll just take the successful, successful issues, whatever it is. Okay, so this is a choice that I'm sending, and uh, this is the nodes. Okay, Th this field is a text field, so I can pass this okay value so that. Uh, when it is closing these two values will be mapped to this so resolution nodes equal to successful this one will come maybe and here this value will come okay so we are fine i am just uh, running the script now okay till this point everyone clear ma yes, so i am running the script here see run script okay one incident is updated good now you can just click this one also which one is updated what it done so it will directly take you to this incident oh this is like okay something else okay report so now if you see here the background script okay uh, is ran make the state equal to resolved and these values also set okay so the data policy is something that will restrict the server side activities same like UA policy okay mandatory read only okay so see here ma when there is something like you may observe it here in UA policy we have three actions mandatory read only visible but in data policy you don't have visible here okay why because you are not seeing this particular record you are running directly from the script so visible will not be there clear Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. And yes, sir. Okay, so there is some okay, there is some concept, okay. This, there is something where we have like let's take one UA policy, okay, which which is there in the system. This is also a very important interview question. Okay. Just uh, note this one. Uh, <coughs> policy. okay so when i ran this particular query okay now i just ran this query right so this query i ran it okay i have an interview question here right so i ran this query and it is updated many things three things okay one thing it is updated okay two things it is updated three things it is updated okay so as per the code okay so these three values it is updated okay then it is also recorded updated the record also now Okay, it is updated by updated this one also resolved resolved by also. Okay, or maybe let's open this way. So see, I am I am talking about this particular incident which we have just updated from script, right? So see, my question is this one. Okay. So updated three minutes ago, updated by admin means me. Okay. I don't want to update these two fields. When I ran the background script, what I need to do? Mavisi, can you tell me? No. Okay. Anjali, can you able to tell? No. Okay. Masarita, can you able to tell? 
No. Anyone can able to tell? Yeah, art art is field false. We need to search. Fine. D R R. Auto. Good now. Okay. So this will not. This will allow system to not update the system fields. What are the system fields? In a table, what are the system fields? Yeah, created, created by, updated, updated by, updates by C S I. Very good. Okay. This is also very important question. We revised one more time. Okay, good. Now, ha, huh, UI policies, right? UI policies. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. Okay. So now UI policy C. Uh, there is a important question called. Okay, you have UA policy. Okay, and the UA policy is doing something when the state equal to, okay, resolved or closed. Okay, make these two fields mandatory. Okay, maybe closer nodes, closer code mandatory. Okay, this the same one we seen it. Okay. The same requirement is also there for client. It is also needs to be there for data policy also, server side also. Okay, in form you want to see it. Okay, to make sure that these values should be updated before you save or close or update or delete or whatever it is. But in data policy also you need the same logic. You are getting it now. Yes, so this is a universal requirement where you need it from both sides. You need it from UI UI side. You need it from data side also, like server side also. Makes sense, right? This requirement is a universal requirement, right? Yes, sir. Okay, everyone, you got this point, ma? Yes. Yes, sir. Yeah. Now you already have a UI policy. Now you can convert that UI policy to a data policy. So the question is converting. Okay. Converting a UA policy to data policy. Okay, so now you are here. You, this is the same thing we are talking about, right? So no, not this one. Okay, give me one second. So let's take. Uh, okay, let's. Okay, let it be. Let's take this one only. Okay, okay as an example. Okay, so now I want to convert this UA policy to data policy. Okay, but I don't have an option here. So see here, if you see data policy, no, this one. Okay, here the data policy you have an option here. Okay, stating that you can convert this one into UA policy. Same way, okay, if you go to UA policy also, you can have a, a option here says convert this into data policy. Okay, but for this one, it is not there. This is a UA policy. Okay, where it is doing is if the contact type equal to email, it is making this one as visible equal to Okay, true. Or else it will make visible equal to false. That means it will show the field value in the table. It will form, right? So now see, I um, what I am going to do here is I want to make the make that okay convert this one to data policy to show here. This is what I want to do. So maybe if you want to tell the same thing in a different way, what are the requirements? That that UA policy needs to follow when if it needs to convert into data policy. What are the conditions? First condition is, okay. So I will just write here. Okay, one by one we will do. Okay, one by one we will do. First condition is in the UA policy. Okay, there should not be any UA policy action that takes visibility because in data policy visibility is not there. Visibility will be only applicable for UA policy. So, visibility should not be there, or visibility should be always set to leave alone. So this is the first thing. Okay, this is the first condition because in data policy side, visibility will not be there. So maybe I just say, okay, mandatory equal to. I just change it. Okay, the first condition is what? What is the first condition if we want to change the UA policy to data policy? visibility should be always leave alone okay so this is the first condition okay so now we are lucky it, it came automatically okay this have only one thing okay visibility visible okay this is first thing and next 
second thing is okay so see here it came now if i hit if i hit this one it will create a data policy also with the same settings okay but second condition is i will just again hide it okay how i can hide it is the ua policy okay see i will i will hide it okay i will hide this option the data policy convert this one to data policy option i will hide now okay that also tells us our second one okay so see i am coming here run script save it okay now go and then see if you have that option or not do you have that option here no okay so run script if it, if run script is checked that means you don't see that option why can someone able to tell why because data policies we don't we can't write scripts we can write scripts maybe yeah in your policy we uh, we use client script and the data policy we use server side script right see uh, this is the answer actually so see let's say you have a ua policy and it have g form something okay g form set value okay so the g form set value or like set mandatory set visible those things if the g form function will not work on data side data policy side I mean server side so the run script should be always disabled in order to make any way policy to data policy this is the second condition is that clear ma sarita garu uh, shushma garu is that clear ah uh, yes okay the third one is okay see here again it is short now i will hide it again okay how i will hide is like i will hide by this way okay so now see that option is that option there convert to data policy no sir why that option is not there why why the option went when i select the when i uncheck the global and then select this option it's a it's a server side script no sir data policy is a server side yeah if mobile view is a client view like right so here we are creating what does this ua policy meant for is it it is meant says the ua policy works only for one view on the table okay in in uh, incident table okay these many views are there and it this ua policy works for only one view this is what the meaning so you are creating a view specific ua policy here but server side na there is no view at all there is no form at all there is no visibility at all so it should be always global so global should be checked if you want to make a ua policy to data policy so these are the three conditions okay that needs to be satisfied if you want to convert a ua policy to data policy is that clear ma yes sir everyone is that clear yes sir yes sir yeah. so okay ma so uh yeah so that's it for today class ma okay